Mizuno Sky 4 was a really highly cushioned shoe, but it was also one of the heaviest shoes on the market. So they completely reworked Sky 5, and I must say, it's a pretty solid upgrade. We are working really hard to give you guys as much running content as possible, so please remember to subscribe to see it all. Now back to the video. The Sky has been a really good running shoe from Misuno for the last four years, but I've found it a little bit too much sometimes. It's, it's just a little bit bulky, it's just a little bit too much, especially around the heel where I don't feel like there's a lot of breathability. So I was super stoked to hear that they made a new version that was lighter. The upper has been completely redesigned with this new ribbed design. It's supposed to be a little bit more flexible in this way and less flexible that way. And that actually creates a really nice lockdown around the ankle. It's really nice and tight around the midfoot. It gives a little bit of space in the forefoot, but not a lot. And it's one of the best shoes that I've had on for a long time. I'm really enjoying the fit of the shoe. It's not super breathable though. Uh, it's still a little bit um, less breathable down here in the back, more breathable up here in the front, which is kind of a usual thing for a Sky, but I think it's a little bit better than the Sky 4. Over a midfoot, you'll find a gusseted tongue. That means that it's attached on both sides, so you slip right in like a sock. It fits really nicely and it doesn't move around too much. Compared to last year's version, the heel color is a little bit less padded and I really enjoy that. It's like a mix between the old version and the Misuno Rider 25, which is a little bit less padded around the heel. I enjoy this one, but I enjoy the Rider 25 just a tiny bit more. Also in the heel, you have a really nice and stiff heel counter, which actually performs really well and helps you on the longer distances to give you a little bit of stability. So overall, I think the new design is a really good upgrade. I really enjoy the fit. I really enjoy the heel counter a lot better than the last version. Now, even though there's upgrades all over the board, the midsole is the most important upgrade. So let's start out with the outer shell here. You see those small waves, these waves right here, they're there for stability to get a little bit more of a stable ride. And then they have this big wave here, which is there for the transition. So it helps you forward, helps you run more smoothly. But that is not the biggest addition to this midsole. That's inside. And that is the Misuno Energy Core, which is on the inside. So outside has the normal Misuno Energy, which we love. It's super nice, it's bouncy, but Misuno Core is softer and it's supposed to be a little bit more bouncy actually. It has replaced the X-Pop from the last version and this one feels nice and soft. It's encapsulated inside the Energy Foam and it has a little bit more in the heel, a little bit more in the forefoot, so you have a nice landing and a nice toe off. And not only that, they've changed the heel drop of the shoe. And that is the difference between the heel and the forefoot in the amount of foam that's there. So they've gone from 10 millimeters of difference to eight millimeters of difference. And that actually gives the forefoot a tiny bit more foam. So that means that you get a lot of foam when you land, but you also get a lot of foam when you just like push off. And if you're one of those people who are not a heel striker, but maybe a, a midfoot or a forefoot striker, then you will actually notice a very big difference because it will be softer and more comfortable landing here as well. And when you go through everything, you got eight millimeter drop, you got these small wavy lines for stability and you got the heel counter. You get a really nice neutral shoe, which has a lot of good stability features. So if you want this for a longer run, then it will really help you and support you all the way. So this midsole upgrade just makes this shoe softer and more comfortable, but it kind of excludes a little bit of the speed aspect of the running shoe. And I think the shoe performs a lot better when you just want to run slowly or you just want to run with comfort. So for me, this is more of a comfort cruiser and I'm probably not using it when I want to run fast. Underneath the shoe, you'll find a lot of rubber and it's strategically placed so it's not a lot of weight added to the shoe. So you see some exposed foam, some places, and you see rubber 
where you need it. It has four flex grooves to give you a little bit more flexibility in the forefoot. Works pretty well. And even though they've tried to save weight here, there's still a lot of rubber, so you'll get a long lifetime out of the outsole. So what really differentiates this Mizuno shoe from the other Mizuno shoes is its softness. So if you compare it to the Mizuno Rider 25, which we also have, it's lighter, it's more responsive, it's more versatile, but this one is more comfortable. Maybe you're somebody who just wants to run and feel comfortable, or you have bad knees and you just want a soft landing, or maybe you're a heavy runner and just want more protection when you're landing. This shoe is really for you because it's nice, it's soft, it's comfortable, and it's so good. But for me, I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Rider 25 because I can use it a lot more. I can use it for faster days, for intervals. I can use it a little bit more than I can use this one. But if I want a longer day, I want comfort, I want a little bit more stability, then there's no doubt I would choose the Sky 5.